All right, all right, all right. We are 72 hours in and change, actually. Um, to be honest, Sunday when I started this, it was probably, you know, when I quit eating. I'm, I'm kind of ballparking. It, it was probably earlier. I had some pumpkin pie. I remember having that. And then uh, I didn't eat anything after that. And so I'm just saying 9 o'clock at night. It's 10, 17 now. What we're calling this our 72-hour check-in. Um, you know, it feels good. I know it's close now. Um, I, I struggled a little bit tonight. Like, it definitely was hitting me a little harder. During the day, I felt like I actually did pretty well. Like, I and I think that's kind of been the pattern for me. Is like when I first wake up, I seem okay. I'm not in too bad of a, you know, depression or funk from it. And then uh, it seems like about, I don't know. It's it's after lunch. It's before dinner. Right around dinner time, probably, honestly. Like, you know, between like three to five. That's kind of where I get my funk again. You know, it's like I'm just depressed. I, you know, the hunger pangs are a, a little bit more. It just seems like it hits me a little harder. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't say today has felt that much different than yesterday, so to speak. So I feel like, again, going back to that skydiving analogy, I feel like the worst part's that first bit just getting into the mode and then after that it, it kind of stabilizes but you still feel hungry like I I'm, I feel I don't know I just want to like I don't necessarily want to eat but I just like it's the pain you know it's like my stomach's growling you know it's like I can't imagine people that you know go without food for long periods of time um you know we have it pretty pretty dang good here in the USA but uh I just can't imagine that, you know, like dealing with this all the time. So it's fairly humbling in that sense of just thinking about how great life is. Like these are first world problems, right? Like, um, I, I do okay for life and, and, uh, anyway, but, uh, yeah, so I, I definitely felt a little off. I, I feel like I was a little more dehydrated, uh, maybe today I, I kind of put off weighing in, uh, which is pretty exciting. I'll talk about it in a second, but uh, I put off weighing in for, a while I didn't wait until a little later and I was kind of trying not to drink too much because I didn't want you know I wanted to be the true reading on my weight and so I didn't drink as much as I probably should have today and uh anyway but it's it's pretty exciting because so yesterday uh first day I weighed in was 338 you know I was it was technically that morning so maybe I lost some already but uh the that first morning of the fast um and then yesterday I weighed in at about 335 and then today I was clear down to 330. So pretty crazy, you know, um, granted that's probably all water weight. Like, you know, I'm curious to see the long-term effects of this, but, uh, um, that was pretty dang exciting. My uh, ketosis levels were higher too. It was around 1.5. It had been hitting, it, it was weird. The first day was one and point uh, five and then 0.7 yesterday. Like it just, it, I don't know why it was going back down. Um, but today it finally got up to a better level. Um, yeah, so that's cool. It definitely feels good to know that tomorrow, basically when I wake up or close to that, I'll be able to eat, you know, uh, I've got to go do a screening, a health screening. So that's going to take some time. So it'll probably be more than 86 hours, you know, probably closer to 90 plus, uh, by the time it's all said and done. But, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's it's pretty exciting, like I said, I, I don't know, like, what ultimately I'm going to get from this, like, yeah, maybe there's some underlying health things that will do, prevent cancer, things like that, um, you know, if anything, I, I think I want to try doing more of a keto slash even carnivore diet, just doing more proteins and things like that, um, and, and do less carbs in general. I just think I need to cut back on that. I, I used to do pretty well at that, but I think I've kind of let that go a little bit. So uh, I don't want to do, go too crazy tomorrow. That's my biggest thing is still just trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. Um, I think I'm probably just going to do like some yogurt and nuts or something like that. Maybe some light meat of some sort. I don't know. But uh, I, I don't want to go too crazy because it's just going to destroy me, I think. But uh, anyway... So here I am. I'm smiling now because I know it's super close to being done. But uh, I, I think it's worth at least, I don't know, like I was telling my wife, I don't know if I do this again or not. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, you know, when you're in the moment, you can't imagine ever doing this again. But, uh, you know, maybe I get a month down the road and I'll be like, heck yeah, let's do it again. 
it felt amazing. You know, it's it's probably like a cold plunge or something. I'm sure there's a little bit of a dopamine hit that'll come from this and and just a sense of accomplishment. So, uh, you know, if you're if you're questioning whether you should do it, I think you should at least give it a shot. You know, once in your life, why not? You know, I I honestly think like you could probably get similar benefits just by doing you know 24 to 48 hours maybe, and you know get a pretty good sense of kind of resetting your blood sugar and maybe getting the ketosis a little bit, but, uh, I'm not a scientist, so, you know, I don't know, but, uh, I, I feel like you could probably accomplish something like that. You know, as far as these long-term benefits prevent cancer, I, I don't know how true all that is, but, uh, you know, so give it a shot, you know, and I don't know, it sounds like you have to do it like once a year anyway. So, you know, could I do this once a year? I probably could, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll just write it out. But, uh, yeah, I'll check in tomorrow. I'll, I'll do a check in before, um, before I, you know, I'm done, done. And then I'll do a check in when I'm done and let you know what I ate. So anyway, exciting times. It's been good.